Hello guys, this is ultrasonic module HCSR04 with distance measurement module. This module is sent by IC station for the review purpose. Let's open it and see. Now we will open this screen. Okay. Here we get the two packages. One is the HCSR04 and another one is the distance measuring module. Now we will open this. here you will get the six pins here and here you get the two pins here you can see three seven segment elements here okay here this pin is the ground and this one is the uh, VCC these two pins are TX and RX here the six pins are used to communicate with the Arduino module take the data and uh, you can utilize the data for the further project and this is a HCS04 ultrasonic module here you can see the four pins here it is the VCC and there is a trigger and this is the echo and this is the ground okay here you can see T and R this is a transmitter and this is a receiver and you can, here you can see the crystal oscillator here all further details about the module is available in the website of IC station you can avail the information there here this board comes with the onboard high performance microprocessor you can see here and you can see the digital tube display that is uh, actually sound segment display here here you can see the t digits it can show maximum range up to three to four hundred centimeters the units are in centimeter actually it will show the maximum input we have to give is uh, only five volts okay while coming to this uh, this can be useful to communicate via serial communication and you can see pin pins here for serial communication and you we use uh, serial communication we have vcc tx rx and ground okay now we will connect this uh, hcsr04 module to this module here you can see the pins uh, ground echo trigger and vcc here you can see ground echo trigger and vcc so we will connect in that manner so that the display will be back side of this module okay, now we will connect for power supply to this here the first pin is VCC and the second pin is ground so first I will connect the ground next the VCC okay you can see here the disabling the light is very bright you see here okay guys we now check this device here you can see the scale and the device reading here 
and now place your obstacle at the 0 cm I place this device at the 20 cm ok it's showing correctly now we'll move by 1 cm here ok it is 90 move by another ok 18 17 16 15 6 ok 14 7 uh, here it is 14 now 13 okay. 12 9 at 10 it is 10 ok we will move by 5 now at 15 Okay, it is at 5 cm distance. Now I am getting this PCB. You can see here there are many holes. Now we will test with this as the obstacle at 0 position. Okay. Mm. At 0 position, it is showing 20. And 1 is 90. You can see what if I bend this board. Okay, the distance is increasing here. What if bend like this? Distance is decreasing. So I am making this right now. Now I will move by another centimeter. Now I will move to 5 here, move to 10, 15, ok it is showing currently. Now we will test the minimum condition, yes I press it now at 0. It is, uh, it is showing correctly. I pursue the sensor at the 5 centimeters. Now I will get to 3. Okay. Okay, it is showing correctly. Okay, I will move by another 1 centimeter. Oh, it is showing wrong. No, I will move by half centimeter. Still, it is showing wrong. No, I will touch this sensor. See, the how the values are varying. From this, we can see that it is. It can be accurate if only it is greater than 3 cm. From starting from 3 to the maximum, it is given that the 400 cm. Now we will see how it is accurate. Now the device is placed at 50 cm position. Now we will move by 1 cm. C forty nine it is showing correctly another one centimeter forty eight will move to forty yes it is showing correctly now we'll move to thirty five Showing thirty six oh it is already at thirty six it is thirty five now yeah thirty two 
thirty twenty seven. Twenty-four, twenty. Okay. Here you seen how this device works. Comment your opinions below. If you like this product, there is a link in the description. From there, you can buy it. I will make a video on a project by utilizing this module and I will update the project link in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll meet again in next video.